Now in the exercise 8.2 we have one more question. Question number 10. The coefficients of the r minus 1th rth and r plus 1th terms of x plus 1 all raised to n are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5. Find n and r. When we expand s plus 1 all raised to n. It is found that the r minus 1 to 10, that is t r minus 1. And r to 10. And r plus 1 to 10. Are such that their coefficients are in the ratio. Of 1 is to 3 is to 5. The coefficient of T R minus 1, that means R minus 1 to 10. T R minus 1 is equal to N C R minus 2, 1 less than R minus 1, that is N C R minus 2. Now coefficient of T R, R to 10 will be N C R minus 1. Then coefficient of R plus 1 to 10 still be N C R. We don't take the whole tail. We require the coefficient only. Therefore, coefficient of the first time is in C R minus 2 out of uh, first time is T R minus 1. Second T R that is in C R minus 1. Third T R plus 1 that is in C R. It is given in the question that the ratio of NC R minus 2 and NC R minus 1 is in the ratio 1 is to 3. Therefore, NC R minus 2 divided by NC R minus 1 is equal to 1 by 3. Then NC R minus 2 means N factorial divided by R minus 2 factorial into N plus 2 minus R factorial and the other one denominator is n factor divided by r minus 1 factor into n minus r minus 1 that is n plus 1 minus r factorial is equal to 1 by 3 implies when we divide this n factor and factor will be getting answers r minus 1 factor will be going in the numerator and n plus 1 minus r that will be put in the numerator Denominator will be r minus 2 factorial into n plus 2 minus r factorial on simplification it is equal to 1 by 3 on simplification r minus 1 and r minus 2 this figure is greater by 1 than r minus 2 therefore when we divide r minus 1 factorial by r minus 2 factorial we get r minus 1 in the numerator then n plus 1 minus r factorial divided by n plus 2 minus r factorial and the figure n plus 2 minus r is greater by 1 than n plus 1 minus r therefore in the denominator we get the figure n plus 2 minus r is equal to 1 by 3 on cross multiplication we get n plus 2 minus r is equal to 3r minus 3 and rearranging we get this equation that is n minus 4r is equal to minus 5 and it is given that the ratio of the coefficients of the r the term and r plus 1 the term that is n c r minus 1 by n c r is equal to 3 by 5 also n c r minus 1 by n c r is equal to 3 by 5 on simplifying n factor divided by r minus 1 factor divided by n minus 1 minus r1 r minus 1 that is in the second case it is the ratio of the r minus 1 to 10 and r to 10 it is coefficient of the 
R minus one today. Coefficient of the R today. Now n factorial and n factorial both cancel. R main R factorial into n minus R factorial. It is put in the numerator and the other one in the denominator. It is equal to 3 by 5. One simplification. Uh, this number R is greater by R minus 1 by 1. Therefore, on division we get R. Here we get N plus 1 minus R in the denominator. On cross multiplication, that is 3N plus 3 minus 3R is equal to 5R. That is 3n minus 5r minus 3r. That is 3n minus 8r is equal to minus 3. We have two equations in n and r. Equation number 1 and equation number 2. See, in the first equation, coefficient of r is negative 4. In the second equation, coefficient of r is negative 8. So we shall multiply the first equation by 2. See, equation number 1 into 2. That is 2n minus 8r is equal to minus 10. Put it as equation number 3. Now, equation number 2 minus equation number 3. This is equation number 2. And this is equation number 3. On subtraction, 3n minus 2n is equal to n. Minus 8r minus 8r cancels. And 7. Equation number 2, 2, minus 3 minus minus 10, that is plus 7, n is equal to plus 7. Substituting for n in equation number 1, equation number 1 will again, we substitute for n, that is 7 minus 4 is equal, r is equal to minus 5, that is, we get 7 plus 5 is equal to 4R, that is R is equal to 3. Right. 